Hello everyone. I am IIT Roorkee and this is my Skyward story. Good story. Good story. Good story. The oldest engineering institute of the country. Your IIT Roorkee owes its origination to the Bhushan Channel, irrigating 9,000 square kilometers. Four lion statues are built along the Ganga Canal. Two each at Roorkee and Mavor Village, while the fifth one is installed in Sher Koti in Roorkee. Sitting with full grace and alertness, paws stretched out and head held high, confident in his majesty and power, but showing neither fear nor ferocity, these lions reflect the ethos and values nurtured by the Institute through the centuries. Convocation Hall of IIT Roorkee is the final step in the Institute for the Future Engineers of the World. The alumni from the Institute include the famous Sir Ganga Ram, A. N. Khosla, Alan Cunningham, Neelmani Mitra, S. V. Sethi, Kavar Singh and the likes, and boasts of one of the biggest alumni base in the country. Time and again, the Institute has come forward in the service to the nation. In 1942, during the Second World War, the Convocation Hall was converted into a hangar to service fighter planes. With the dawn of independence on 15th August 1947, our institute ushered into a new era of hope enabled with technology. The Palmerston College of Civil Engineering was rechristened as University of Roorkee in 1949. When the country demanded service of its technical experts, your institute always was right in the front, developing dams, bridges, power plants, roads, boats, and other basic infrastructure for our new nation. Our alumni were not just enabling the country in technology, but we were contributing wholeheartedly in policy making and nation building. Year 2001 was another major year in the history of your institute when it was renamed from the University of Roorkee to Indian Institute of Technology Roorkee. Shramam Vinana Kimapi Sadhya, which means nothing can be achieved without hard work. The name had changed, but the ethos and values inculcated in each and every individual associated with the institute remained intact and etched in the words. Today, on the eve of 175th year of the foundation, the Institute reinvigorates and rekindles the same spirit of technical excellence and service of the nation. With renewed and refreshed zeal, the Institute once again commits itself to development of Indian youth and prepare them to take on the world on the counts of hard work, merit and unflinching objectives to make a better world. The Institute is once again willing, able and ready to contribute in the making of new India. We are right here, ready to lead the future.
Future. Future. Future. Tell the world, guys, are you ready to lead the future? Yeah. One more time, are you ready to lead the future? Thank you everyone for